Good evening. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to welcome. Funky Fret's World Headquarters. Yeah, shed some light on the matter. I'm Kelly Thompson. This is Kurt Scheller. Yeah. Two of the three owners at Funky Fret's that Music Store. Bernadette is on another computer. Monitor. Hopping in on the chat. Yep, checking the chat. Hey, Kathy. Hello, Anne. So. We got some. February 9th. News. News. That echo? Colors. That sounded like. Ooh. Hello, ooh, hello, ooh. hello, 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 hello. No, if I if I do that, it echoes, but no, it's, it's bouncing off of room. something. Hearing myself bounce. Yeah, we're, All gotta, right. we're not soundproofed here. We'll have the drawing from our secret word last week. And the secret word was manuscript. 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 So those people. So thanks everybody that sent it in. Yes, thank you. We put those names into a drawing, and then anyone who made purchases, when Thursday through Sunday. Put their name in a drawing for a $50 gift card to Funky Frets. Yep. Hey, William. Good it's evening. Actually, actually charged with 50 on it, too, so it's not like a blank card. Yes. So you can use that in retail, repairs, if you want to bring your instrument in for a spa day, lessons, events. Spa day. Spa day, yes. You should have Get that. your strings changed. Yep. And your Especially come spring, you know. Fretboard condition. Humidity will sneak in, yep. Yeah, those fretboards get dried out. I just Oops. had to change the string today on my ukulele. Yeah, definitely. If you're not humidifying, <laughs> get your old humidifiers. Oh, that's what I was oh. thinking when I fret sent it in. Yeah. William, William, William. So let's pull that. We have one of pulling the names out of our custom hand painted mugs here available at Funky Frets for $5. This one says strum and sip. Here we go. Who do we got? Linda Case. Oh, I'm glad she won. She was the one that messaged and said, hey, it's National Ukulele Day. Are you doing anything special? And I was like, nope. Now we will. Yes. <laughs> so, Linda, congratulations. We'll send you your gift card. My uke can get a pedicure. And we were supposed to get the pedicures, pedicures. not the ukes. <laughs> so... We also have... No, no TJ today. No TJ, no. Yep. Latest edition of Ukulele Magazine. Came in. Are we going to give one away? How are we going to give one away? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I have one. This will be an easy one. A trivia? Yes. All right, go ahead. What is it? Because this uh, magazine, there's an issue talking about sustainability and what the youth yep. community is doing for sustainability. What is one company known... For the revitalization of forestry. I know that one. Yeah. Ba -ding -ding. But I have a magazine. <laughs> so even if you have a subscription, you could still put your guess in and yeah. get sent another one. And maybe you can give it to yeah. a friend. If you subscribe, you can also subscribe through uh, learningnuclearlight.com. I have a link on there. where Like an affiliate link thing? it does thing? anything for us, yeah. Might. We don't know. Yeah. That's right. a waterfall, yes. Yes. Back William, do you have any... Ukuleles that have waterfalls come out of the sound hole. <laughs> yep. Oh, William got it. And Ann got it. <laughs> yeah, twice. That was an easy question, right? One of them has the right spelling, though. The other one oh. doesn't. Oh. Do we give uh, credit for correct spelling? <laughs> <laughs> Should we do pronunciation quiz, Dad? <laughs> nope. I got it. Canelea. <laughs> Canelea. 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 Oh, we play our ukes. I'd uh, like to buy a costume. Yes, there we go. Play our ukes while getting a pedicure. Funky Fred's body. Yes, Connie Leia. My one you... nail needs a pedicure. <laughs> Your one, no, a pedicure? That would be a manicure. Uh, nail core. Nail core. <laughs> if you don't know, yeah, for every instrument sold, Connie Leia plants a tree. Yes, they which actually is have awesome. a whole reforestation thing. They it's like they 80 bought, acres or something, bought the right? Or they they bought, yeah. yeah. And it's not just koa trees. They look into the science of what other plants and trees help, you know, live together and build, grow strong and healthy. So that's cool. Yeah, Very cool. I like that article. about them. And then there's other ones about, you know, smaller boutique luthiers and what they do for sustainability. 
Alaska, like Aaron Kine, okay. and uh, the northwest of the uh, U.S. up in uh, Oregon just uses like locally sourced wood and actually reclaimed wood from like old bars yeah, and Yeah, stuff that's fallen. And and yep. Use a lot of that. Does some nice work. Is the uh, Jupiter uke, do, are they still making ukes? Because yeah, he does. Me, he does it too. Pennsylvania one. We had him at our yeah. festival. He was taking uh, wood from like water towers in that New were York, yeah. torn cool. down and yep. yeah it's neat so there's a lot of wood out there that can be recycled repurposed and turned into ukuleles yes we have some exciting events coming up at funky frets if you don't know let me just hold on i'm sure you do know if you've watched the show before because we've been announcing it but debbie velasco will be coming up oh i have a list hold on we have Debbie doing a hula workshop and lay making. A couple workshops. There's information on the Funky Frets ah. website. She'll be here March 19th, right? Yes, 18th and 19th. 18th and 19th, so, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Friday night she'll be doing a braided lay, which I just saw one somewhere around the store. And I should have grabbed it and I didn't think of it but to show you. But a braided lay for a beginner class. And then she has beginner hula Friday night, and then a straw fuzzy lay with kukui nuts. That's another beginner level class. So each workshop is ten dollars, or two for fifteen, or three for twenty-five. And then Saturday she has a more advanced uh, style lay class, which would be similar to like this ribbon lay that we'll be making. What did she say? Don't know Mom just yelled something out. Somebody and then knows. an intermediate hula. And we did have a phone call from somebody, and we might be having some live music. Ooh. So stay tuned for that. And then we timed the Saturday intermediate classes, so then our uke people would still be able to make the jam at 2.30, and then uh, we have our open mic. Open so it's a mic. big yep. day. Whirlwind weekend. Big day. But yeah. you can't beat the pricing. $10 per class. Or two for 15 or three for 25. And we'll be announcing soon there'll be an event the weekend afterwards, also, right? Yeah, are we announcing that? Or? No, not yet. It's in the works. It's well, in the works, yeah. Uh, What's that? We announced it. Well, yeah. it sounds like it's pretty. It's pretty somewhat firm. It's we'll semi set in stone, so I would. <laughs> Christopher, da well, have Christopher Davis Shannon, and he's from Philadelphia, a local guy almost, and Peter Moss is in from England. Yep. Merry old England. So there, then, he's making yep. a tour out of the Gaithersburg right. Fest. So yes. he'll be stopping so, double. So March is a busy week. And then we also are going to have. But wait, let's hold on. Let's go back. So the Christopher Davis Shannon will do a workshop and Peter Moss will do a workshop and then they'll do a concert. So that'll yes. be a great day. So yes. that's the 20. Is that the 26th, I think? Yep. Next weekend. So week. stay tuned for that because we are. We should have final, Deep. final details. But it's like 80% set yes. in stone. So, <laughs> And then we also are going to have in April, I forget what date, I think the 20th. That's Easter day. Is it? Right? Yep, I think so. I said Easter day. <laughs> Andrew Molina. And his dad, going to Jay. Sunday and Jay concert. Check him out, virtuoso ukulele player. I believe he lives in Maui. He's coming for an East Coast tour doing, I think, uh, Rockin' Memphis Festival or something. Yep. Rock and roll, what are yeah, they? Rock, and, rock and uke, I think it's called PD, PD Max Festival yeah. in April. Yeah, after our festival, after our uh, event here. So this should be pretty good. We're trying to get a lot of events going every month so that we, yes. uh, for our 10th anniversary, yes, leading up to our festival, which we're lining up everything now. And we're trying to encourage local people too, outside of our uke community, to enjoy things like the open mic, the concerts. The hula, the lay making, I mean, that's great for any child or adult. So spread the word. Is, yes, William, he is awesome. And okay. Easter, we have had events on Easter before. We had uh, Ben Carr on Easter, and it was a really good turnout yeah, it'll be <laughs> for like, a holiday. It would be like 2 o'clock, so. Yeah. If you're a church-going type, you can just... Uh, you can hunt your Easter eggs in the morning and then come hang yep. out with us in the afternoon. All right. And you have your first session of your finger picking class tomorrow. Yep, we had uh, the second triad class uh, last yep. night, Tuesday night. 
And the first finger picking one of three weeks of finger picking. So it's still time to sign up for that. Style. Yep. If you're a forever member and you don't have a link already, uh, you can still sign up. I lowered the price nine bucks for, for the whole workshop. If you're for a forever only member, a forever member, member yeah. that you've done that. If you're a gold member, it's it's half the price. Because if you're just a freebie person, you have to pay the full price. It's so, definitely worth it. Yep. You get a lot of info. And the videos will even be available afterwards to people that attended, and they, even people can buy them. But yeah, if you can't, if you bought it but didn't make it, yeah, you can watch the recording. Some good stuff in there. We're getting good feedback Are you on it. Sure, so. it's this. Yes, Jim. Poor Jim. What's that? I, we announced last week, misinformed on our media show here. We said finger picking was last week, yes. but it actually starts this week. Sorry, Jim. Jim yeah. Brady was looking for the link. Where's the Zoom link for? I went and looked like, at the dates. Sorry, if I Jim. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Too much going on. Yeah, yeah, you think you have a... things memorized, and yeah. then you s hit a live stream. So you can check and out you the uh, Learn in Okoleli website that has the festivals up there, live event kind of things. The if you attended the Bill Wynn workshop a few weeks ago, he just sent me the recording today of the play along track. So I'll oh, be emailing nice. everybody that, uh, so you can work on what you've learned and play along with that. And do you, did you do the notes too on that? Like Arnold asked, Arnold said, are you, uh, can you write in the notes of the, No, what I'll what do bill? is I will take, I have the yesterday on the computer and I will, it has the chords in the key of G and then you so can look the at that. So it's the same as what with Bill the, did? Well, that's where he took it from. Oh, okay. So you can go and compare what the original chords were and sort of what he did. His get arrangement of it, yeah. Because yeah. you don't really want to actually name every single chord, because the tonality of a chord will remain for like two to four beats, but you don't have to name every chord with every melody. It just becomes complex and makes it too hard to remember. But seeing the reference might but help seeing you, the like, melody and see the how he got his arrangement and, and, and stuff, what he's right? playing and finding, like we said said during the workshop, what's a fill filling in between melodies and mm. stuff like that where he took liberties and right, right. that's cool yeah so that's pretty cool hey, it was a good he took, workshop. Uh, took advantage of the low g pedal tone for a lot of stuff in it so it's pretty interesting yeah there's a version on learning ukulele.com that's in f mm. it's pretty good it does more like a descending bass line kind of thing in a certain part <laughs> jim said it's all good about him looking for the link we just like to keep you on your toes yes oh scavenger hunt <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Now we have another artist, he's coming through, but not to Funky Frets, but he is back in the Pennsylvania area. Oh, yes. Jake just announced he's doing the Burks Jazz Fest April 9th up in Reading. Somewhere, right? Reading, yeah, yeah I don't we know don't where. Know the <laughs> they do it in all Redding. different venues up there. So April 9th, he's back in PA. He just did... Uh, Phoenixville. Phoenixville a couple Phoenix months ago. November, yeah. right? December November or something, something, yeah, last year. So he we, just keeps crossing right by us, and he never stops at the store. Yeah, right. So if you know Jake, yeah, tell, tell him. him to stop by. <laughs> Lori! He probably always has like a, there's a little entourage of musicians yeah. with him and stuff in the tour bus, so it's probably just pretty hard to like <laughs> just pop in right. on people. <laughs> we did an order with one of our vendors. We have a lot of, well, I should say a lot loosely because the lot was not available to order, but harmonicas will be restocked. The we have some acoustic guitars we ordered, right? What what brand did we get? I forget. Washburn. Yes. They're nice. They've been around forever. They're an imported brand now. Pretty good stuff. Which we've been limited. Go back to our faces. They're seeing Jake. Oh, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the acoustic guitar availability for us has been tough, so we're excited yeah. to get some variety in. We we'll probably need to get some more electrics too, but we can get that. We have these. I saw from one of our vendors, Lou. We can get the PV Raptor electric guitars. Are pretty nice. Hmm. I saw it on the in the email. I look tired today. Yeah. Uh, Ohana. We did our Ohana order. We ordered um, the open back and closed back banjolele and tenor size. Do we? Do you give harmonica lessons? Lori asked. I have somebody that's bringing a harmonica in for a lesson. Saturday, yeah. Is it Lori? No. Nah. <laughs> My Saturday morning lesson oh. asked me if I could do it. I said, well, it's pretty much, uh, yeah, I can. Just put it up to your mouth and blow. <laughs> Move it around. There you go. <laughs> no, I'll give you a little tip. Yeah. I played the harmonica a lot when I was in the Navy. 
because there was better guitar players than me at that time, so I would play the harmonica, and yeah. I can sit in with a lot of different people and just play yeah, the blues Yeah, you did harp. it um, at the open mic yeah, last right. time. Yeah. I think I have a video. I should oh, post yeah. that. Wow. That was just impromptu, uh, not playing in uh, years. Yeah. But a fun little instrument to play. Little Rev does it nice. He's got a, he's got some books out to learn how to play the harmonica. And Michael August too. Yeah. He's it's a cool instrument. It's fun little is. instrument to try. It's set up for success, just ah. like the ukulele. You okay? We're really bad at this, guys. What? We you not we you and Mom went to go see. What's his new name band name? John Denny. You went to see Jonathan Denny. Noah. Yeah, right. I forgot. So if you were at now. our grand opening or the first two. Uke Fest, you might remember the Whiskey Hicken boys. Uh, they have since parted, but two of them have come back together. What? Are they what? The Sticky Hands. What? Something String Band. Sticky. Isn't it String Band? Sticky Hand String Band? Or Sticky Hand. <laughs> uh, James probably knows our drum teacher that'll be walking up. So they were playing in Westchester, so mom and dad went out for dinner and went to see them. So they're back. Two of them are back together as a duo. Oh, there you go. Watch this. I'll show you a picture. They're really fun. They've got a lot of energy. Yeah, they're like they're a just funk band. With it's just a duo. And bass. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. They get a lot of... The bass player is awesome. They get a lot of music just out of uh, playing. Put that, yeah, I'm pulling it up. Yeah, okay. Let me see if we go... Uh, oops. I keep talking. Oh. Uh, they'll be coming here for an event in a few months. We're going to set up something to have them back. Like I said, they were at our grand opening and our Uke Fest the first two years. Um, All right. I think that's everything. I've, oh, we have some other like higher end Ohana Ukes coming in in like the three four $400 range. It didn't get saved, did it? Oh, under pressure. It's a giant. Uh, Filling time under pressure. I don't have a teleprompter telling me uh, what to do. I'll save it here. Yeah, well, no we're not way. on a better time schedule, are we? Lori said, no way. Better guitar players? I doubt what it. What is this? There you go. Watch this. Ready? I'll show you. Secrets of editing. And you didn't take any video, right? Nah. There we go. So there we go. We took a Boom. good shot of... Uh, on the fly. <laughs> on the fly. Selfie. I had my arm out taking a picture, but that's Noah in the back on the upright bass now, pretty good. And that's Jonathan Denny. He, he uh, plays. He plays the ukulele. He bought one here, and he has yes, a backup. The red quilted yeah, maple lanikai. It's, it's holding up. He gets a lot out of it, and kazoo takes yeah, he, a lot of kazoo yeah. solos. <laughs> Very cool. So that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, they are fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. So we can't wait to have uh, them. We're going to get them here too. We're going to have them here. We have his phone number, and we'll have both of them here on our stage for something. Something sometime soon. Something <laughs> this summer probably we'll do something. But it's pretty good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So that's our show. <laughs> yeah, that's our show. That's it. That's that's, that's all the news that's fit to print. Yeah, I was just looked up today, today too. how long we've been doing this, and we did our first Funky Frets. TV show April 29th 2020 and we've been doing it every week since we missed maybe one week when it was a snowstorm or yeah. something right so maybe we'll dig up that old video <laughs> and play that Ooh. that's funny well, is it did you yeah, watch it funny. the first one it's is not it? as bad as this one it's just the same that's when we were at your up. house with the quarantine and yeah, you had the right. we, we had the everybody was quarantined melodic. what did we yeah. do the uh we went upstairs and did that it. instrument I forget what the little xylophone thing oh, yeah, we had for with ring. the ding yeah. ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> like how they started school announcements in Greece. TJ's going to have ding, ding. some upset, 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 I can't. Fans? Upset fans? Yes, for his puppets. Puppets, yeah, he's got two new puppets. And yeah. the one he made, so we're going to have him as a feature in the show. That'd be pretty cool. He's getting pretty good at it. We went all the way down to Maryland, no, Virginia, sorry. Yeah. Met up with William and Ann at a puppet shop. Who would have known? A, a professional puppeteer in so he, Crystal City, right? Yep. He bought two puppets. One of them looks like a news anchor, so he'll yeah, go perfect does, yeah. with our show. <laughs> yes. So we should get some more parts. You can there's a you can get puppet parts all over the web now. Somebody wants to open a puppet yeah, store now puppet with TJ. Store, puppet parts. TJ says, I'm in. He'll I know. He didn't even have like... Um, he could do classes on how to make them and everything. I'm going to build 
with my woodworking skills that I'm trying to acquire. No, yeah. like a holder with the sticks so you can like hang it on your wall oh, and yeah, then have the just, thing. Because yeah. he has them all laying in his closet, but they're all going to get like flattened down and messed uh, up. Yeah, he needs to display his puppets. I got to buy some dowels and make some stands. Puppet stands. Yeah, you can have like puppet clothing and. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so maybe it'll be funky, funky puppets. <laughs> funky <laughs> puppets. Yeah. <laughs> Funky puppets. I don't know. Stay tuned. Who yeah, knows? That'll be... you can... What? Oh, yeah. Gotta get your sound. So, yes. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully next week, TJ yeah, will we'll be here. Yeah, we'll see you next. So that is... Uh, let me see. I always have our stuff here. So saying hi to our number one fan. I saw somebody else. I have a picture somewhere of a cat that is a fan of uh, Funky Fred's. It's oh. in the background. I had to find it. Remember to tune your ukes. Keep an eye on the humidity. It drops down into the 20s and 30s, especially if your house is forced air heat. If it's baseboard water heat, it's not as bad, but still. You and want to keep your instruments at about 40. Get you, one of those, yes. grab one of those up top, there's one, look. This thing? No, the, the, oh, this yeah. thing, yes. You can get these from Diodario. From, at Funky Fretz, at available Funky at Funky Fretz. We have them that will tell you the relative humidity and give you some uh, highs and yes. lows of alarms. So you your can acoustic get guitars and ukes definitely need yeah, these. Yeah, you can even get a, a, a device that will sync with your smartphone. You can put it in your room or your instrument and it will give you alerts. Like this yeah. little guy. A, yeah, you, you can't tell it yourself. You can't yeah. really like feel the humidity level, yep. so you definitely have to have a, a gauge to like, let you right know. Right in here, it's like it's like pretty low in here because of the computers and stuff. But I have very seasoned instruments in here. Lori, you, you got to send in a picture of your puppers. You know, it's funny. I have a dog. Porter's a big fan. Yeah, Porter's I, a big dog now. I have a dog, and I don't think yeah. she's ever been here, right? I'm sure, Porter would watch, right? We almost had a cat follow me in the store the other day. Oh yeah, it's black cute. cat. Yeah, like a tiger, like oh, yeah. black and gray, but he looked had like tigery prints. We have a He's lot of cats in the neighborhood. Crying. Oh. So, from World Headquarters. Have a good night. Third rock from the sun. Funky Fred's crew. We need a new picture. It's Kelly. I sent says. you that one. <laughs> I gotta get it up. Yep. All right. Have to find it. Good night. See ya. Good riddance.